Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center. Uh, today we're going to show you how we keep our rabbits comfortable in the summer. Um, it's only late May, but it's already hit 96 degrees. So today um, it's going to be 91. Tomorrow it's going to be 91. The day after that it's going to be 90. So we went ahead and we hooked up all our fans and our solar panels, and I'll show you how we did that. Here we go. The thermal conductivity of marble is considerably high. And what that means is, whereas you stand on wood or carpet, there's little air pockets that dissipate quickly and it's, it heats up faster. Whereas marble, it'll hold the cold temperature and it'll always feel colder than wood or say ceramic tile. So everybody get yourself some marble tile. The rabbits love to lay over them and stay comfortable. At the Rabbitry Center, everybody gets a tote, a ramp. I can touch this white corrugated plastic and it's cold to the touch. They run, they run down into the six inch tile and into these totes. Now these totes, we're gonna run the temperature on it. Right now it's 87 degrees. The mulch down there is 78 degrees. Let me see if I can get the plastic. The plastic is 76 degrees. All our does and our bucks, most importantly, your bucks in the summer, if they get too hot, they can go sterile. And when you're running a rabbitry, you certainly don't want to have to shut down the entire rabbitry because it may take months for your bucks to come back. This ramp, it has carpet for flooring so they can make it up and down the ramp we don't clip our does nails or our bucks nails because of that so they can use these cooling stations. These ramps are topped off with white corrugated plastic. These totes are just half inch plywood or three quarter inch plywood if we had it. And then we use half inch styrofoam for extra insulation. Um, it's just your typical $10 tote from Home Depot and then we surround it with dirt which insulates, which insulates it and keeps it nice and cold in the summer and nice and warm in the winter. At the Rabbitry Center we have two solar panels. We have one big one and one small one. We, t we take the small one and we face it east for sun rising in the morning. The heat's not so intense in the morning. Um, and in the afternoon when it's facing south, it's up there all day. That's where you want your big solar panel to be facing. And to make sure you, you place them, placement's really important. You know, you can put your solar panel really anywhere and just lay it down flat and it's gonna work. It's gonna catch sun. But if you angle it like on a 45 and try to find an area where it doesn't get a lot of shade, there's not a lot of uh, things that will get in front of your panel so it can continue to charge your battery.
Okay, the wiring on these are pretty simple. Right on the back, it shows all the schematics. It shows that this is a 10 watt solar panel. And you can see right on, I hope that turns out, you can see a plus and a negative. And the wiring is just two terminals. It's really simple, so just try to remember which color, red usually for positive, and white for neutral. Okay, now I know this looks really messed up, but basically what this is, is all these are fans, computer fans. And you put the, this is our positive block, and this is our negative bus bar. So basically you take your positive, put it on this, your negative on this, and all the way down the line. All this will feed. We put a little piece of copper so everything has uh, electricity that touches this block. And then what we actually have is we have a light switch uh, coming from the battery that we can kill all the power on cold days if we want to. But this isn't necessary. You don't have to add that. So, But just get yourself a solar charge controller and then wire to the battery and then wire to the terminal block. There's the computer fan. It's running. It's not running very strong right now because the sun's not out. And there's the wiring. And then the wire comes down. And goes right back up to the this terminal block. 1.6 amps, if that comes out. And it's all DC wiring. So you'll get these Sometimes they'll have two wires, sometimes they'll have three, and you'll just have to cut the third one off. But it's incredibly simple to wire. Um, a good way to test your fans is just get another piece of wire, hook up an extra battery or the battery that you're using, put these on the terminals, and then use the other end to connect your fan, and that way you can test them. And then that's, that's a good way to find out which one's positive, which one's neutral. So you'll notice on these fans, all of them have holes on the corners. So you just take a piece of wire, put it through the wire, connect it, secure it, and then hang it on the side of your, your fan or your cage and about an inch off the ground because that's where they like to lay. And you'll see they'll, they'll put their face right up next to it. And you'll see their fur blowing in the wind. They love it. And this, uh, this takes the edge off those 95 degree days, gets them through the summer. It's important every year that you come out to your rabbitry and take a look at it different times of the day. Make sure no sun is getting through. We use the white corrugated plastic on top to help it keep cool just in case uh, some sun gets through. But I noticed some trees went down last winter so we're going to have to cut some trees. We're going to hinge cut. Saplings will sprout up and that will create more shade. That's something that we do every year. So I hope this video helps somebody out there. Please click thumbs up and subscribe so you can get the next video. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching.